Hey you guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company. We have an amazing playlist full of content for you today. What's so special? Well, simple really. It's all about Canada. That's right, I've gotten together with some of my favorite Canadian YouTubers and we have everything red and white for you today. Canada, home of the butter tart, the poutine, the beaver tail, and some amazing DIY. I like to tell people that I am more Canadian than those that were born here. So yes, that's right. In 1975, I arrived in Canada with my mom and my dad, and I can honestly say that we have never looked back. Why am I more Canadian than some people? I had to take a test to become Canadian. And I happen to think that this is the best country in the whole entire world. Sorry, England. We have some amazing DIY for you today. I can't wait to show it to you. Make sure you visit everyone's channels by clicking on the playlist linked below so you can check out all the amazing red and white DIY and decor we've created for you. Thanks again for stopping by Lisa and Company. Let's get this started. Don't forget to click on the playlist below and check out the incredible content from all my Canadian YouTube friends. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to their channels too. If you enjoy videos full of budget-friendly DIY design and decor, make sure you click on the subscribe button and we'll see you every time we upload a video. So I'm starting today with a new cabinet door I picked up at, yep, you guessed it, I got it at the Habitat for Humanity Restore and you want to bet that I was there as soon as they opened. I'm so excited to see some of my favorite stores coming and reopening and I'm really impressed with some of the precautions they're taking. So this one had a little bit of damage on the end in one corner but when we're done with it you're not even going to notice. Of course we're going to start with the Rust-Oleum chalked paint in linen white and that's going to be our base for this project. Rusty, and I started this project without hitting the record button. So I'm using my Dollar Tree letter stickers, poster stickers, they're poster stickers, and I've put them on and I've started dry brushing over top of it with this red chalk paint. I used a lot of it at Christmas and it's a really great thick paint. You can pick it up at Michael's and Walmart. So what I'm going to do is just keep building up the dry brush until I get exactly the look I'm looking for, if that makes any sense. So didn't want a white sign, didn't want a red sign, so I really wanted this great rustic look. Now you may be wondering why I'm painting over the poster stickers and you're going to find out real soon. Let's get this done. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that the Habitat for Humanity Restore started right here in Canada? That's right. They have well over a thousand stores all over the world now, but it started right here in Canada in Winnipeg. This is the best. It's a little bit like peeling paint. You're going to take those stickers off and reveal the base color and your sign is done, done, done. So we've got a couple of Dollar Tree placemats. Now usually you would put your right sides together, but I want this pillow to be reversible. So I am going to put them, well this way. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. And this way I'm going to have one side that's the red and white buffalo plaid and the other side that's red. A good old reversible pillow. You can see I'm going to do, I'm going to glue it and you know what? Sometimes I find this just works really, really well when you're putting a pillow outside. But check out the way that I'm doing it. I'm not doing it like you would sew it where you turn it inside out afterwards. I find if you're going to use hot glue to make yourself a pillow, you want to go as close to the edge as possible and just push those two pieces together. I find it gives you a beautiful, almost flanged edge and the sewers out there know what I'm talking about. I find it has a way higher end look. You can achieve this look by sewing it as well. And normally that's what I would have done, but you guys know I just moved and I have no idea where the sewing machine is. I know it's here and that's all I got. 
So I'm using a pillow I pick up at Giant Tiger. Make sure you pull that fill apart before you pop it in there and it'll give you a nice full pillow. As you can see, I wasn't paying attention and I left both sides open. This one is so easy, I'm almost afraid to call it a DIY. So, bag from Dollar Tree, and again, super excited when I saw these red and white ones come in. Ready for complicated? Okay, cut off the handles. Next thing you're gonna do is open it up and flatten out the bottom, and okay, all we have left at this point is we're gonna fold it down once, all the way around the bag, just like you would a bag of chips, and then you're gonna do it one more time so you get that beautiful white edge. I did a DIY with this back in the winter and fell in love with how easy it was. Now let's go outside and I'm gonna show you what I did with it. My little tiny porch on the new house isn't what we're used to seeing at the old one, but I am so pleased with the way this came together. Three quick and easy DIYs special for Canada Day because we're the North and you know it. And I've got a beautiful bunch of red and white accents on what was kind of a dull brown porch. My chair with a couple of great pillows is a super place to perch in the morning with my coffee. And I picked up some beautiful white geraniums for that special little bag planter. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that this door, this vintage door, featured heavily in my first ever YouTube video. I'm gonna link that down below so that you can go and check it out. I really hope you enjoyed our Canada A collab and that we'll see you next time for every video we upload here at Lisa & Company. Before you head out, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and I wanna know what you're doing for your Canada Day, or for my friends down south, what you're doing for your July 4th holiday. Hope you guys have an excellent weekend, and we'll see you next time at Lisa & Company. Hey, you guys, before you go, do you want to see snippets of Izzy and I in our day-to-day -day life and things that you don't see here on YouTube? Make sure you follow us over on Instagram or Facebook at Lisa and Company and you'll never miss out on anything.